everyone welcome back to makeup obsession it's me again and and i'm here to share with you guys a little get ready with me so i have a zoom interview slash meeting that's gonna happen in an hour and i'm still in my mumu <laughs> um i just got up like a couple hours ago and in front of the camera i want to get ready with you guys in front of the camera so that you know um this is my first time doing this and if you're wondering why my background is different i'm not in my studio area where i film i'm not in my regular filming area obviously this is where my makeup table is facing so that's why i'm here i'm gonna start with a little bit of this is the ysl touche claw all-in-one glow and my shade here is kind of it's kind of darker for my complexion it's bd40 but that's okay because this is like a sheer kind of foundation so yeah so far um my month has been good to me there are a lot of really good things and you know there are some things i mean life happens you know there's things that we can't control and but overall i'm happy this month is turning out to be a good month and i know that with a lot of you guys probably are going through you know pandemic things and stuff and i just hope that you guys are finding ways to de-stress and be happy so i'm just applying that all over my face and this is a quick uh this is a quick <laughs> this is like a quick get ready kind of a video well hopefully it will not take me forever to, to do this i don't plan to really put a lot of makeup because the I don't know like for the zoom meeting what really matters is like your orientation the makeup does matter so you want to look fresh of course so but it doesn't have to be super full coverage i'm gonna use this one this is the boing benefit cakeless concealer in number three and i love this concealer i normally just tap it on underneath my eyes so most important when it comes to zoom meetings is really like your orientation and i guess your background so definitely i might not i mean this background is fine but i might switch somewhere where my background is i don't know a little bit more plain i guess because i do have quite a lot of things going on in my background um, if you guys have some kind of ring light, make sure that, you know, your light source is good so that they can see you. Because that's all that matters really is that they see you enough. I'm drying up on this area. You guys look, look at that. I'm peeling because of all the facials that I'm doing. But... We'll get through that. We're not gonna worry about that so much. I'm gonna do a little bit of a lip balm. And I like this one by Tone Up. This is by Mentholate. 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 This one is their CC Tone Up Rose Pink. And it has SPF 20. So let me just work that on my lips. Also, if you don't have time for eyeshadow, you can just throw on some eyeglasses. Like, if you do have prescription eyeglasses. But if you don't, then you can just throw in like some mascara. Something quick and simple. So I'm gonna grab my Kosas Velvet Melon. This is the color of my cream, high intensity shade. And I'm gonna grab that blush shade. I love cream blushes 
but right now my skin is kind of drying up on the cheek area that's why I'm using cream products If you are on the oilier side, you definitely want to skip this. I'm normally oily during this time of the month because I am mostly indoors and the air, the air conditioner is really drying my skin up. I feel like that's what it is. So I'm just tapping this on to my skin. I love this blush formula it's just really nice especially it looks natural it doesn't look it will never look cakey you gotta blend it really nice though so that it doesn't sit on top of your skin but I love this formula have you guys tried Kosas? I think Kosas is one of the brands out there that they do have a lot of great products it's just they're not as popular yet they're emerging they're they're one of the like emerging brands they're a clean brand which means you know they use ingredients that are vegan they don't have tallies they don't have sulfates all of that bad bad stuff so I need brows so badly, so I think I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows. And I'm just eyeballing this video because I have not done a get ready with me. I do watch get ready with me's and usually they're just like talking simple uh orientation of the video and it's usually like chit chat or something like that so that's what i'm trying to achieve here <laughs> so i normally just powder my eye eyebrows a little bit before i move on with a pencil that way it glides uh, with a little bit of grit because I feel like it, if it's too smooth it doesn't really go in the direction that I want it to go so I'm using this one it's the ultra point micro brow pencil from you can be you guys this is awesome if you are a beginner makeup artist you can add this to your kit because they have like four different shades of color and this is the darkest I believe and it works so well it actually reminds me so much of the anastasia brow pencils the brow with is that what you call it yeah the brow with and what i'm doing is i'm just making this a little archier just i just noticed that that look kind of looks good on me from my patrick star <laughs> video that i did Alrighty, so I'm just gonna feather the front part. Thinking about just like layering maybe a vest over my mumu <laughs> to make it look professional. That word mumu is funny. It's I know, I don't know that word before. I just learned that word when I moved here in the u.s and it's supposed to mean like pajamas just like sleepwear or something it's just funny that they call it mumu so just doing the other eyebrow now i'm gonna set my brows with a little bit of a gel i'm gonna use this one the elf brow gel i really like this one it's such a good product for setting and i like that it doesn't have any color for my eyeshadow i think my eyebrows are okay now for eyeshadow let me grab um i think i would have to use an eye primer honestly because i'm not going to be wearing this makeup all day 
So I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer. I'm gonna use my Boeing concealer. And that's it. I think just concealer. <laughs> I look silly right now, like. Oh. So I'll set that in place. I do have a a brush that I really like. This is from You Can Be. It's from their Amazon set. They don't sell this on the website, but this is freaking awesome. It's like angled and stuff, you guys. Like, I like patting my concealer in with this I mean you don't have to wear heavy eyeshadow really if you don't want to but the only reason why I'm gonna have some eyeshadow is I just want to really <laughs> it's not like it's required or anything I just want to play with eyeshadows today. Eyeshadows like one of my favorite parts of my makeup. What about you guys? What is your favorite makeup part? So I want to play with this one today because it's really pretty and I said in one of my videos I promised that I'm gonna do a video with the Nala palette. This is from uh, Amorous Cosmetics. They have awesome products like I've been using their eyeshadow palettes throughout this week and last week and I am super super amazed by the formula and just in general I love the way that their eyeshadows perform. I noticed that the best way to blend their eyeshadows is by using a concealer instead of like a transparent primer but this is gonna be a great base for this shadow so i will first start off with i think i'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade called romantic this yellow right here and just gonna pop that right in here And as usual, you guys, I have I'm a little bit more adventurous with my makeup. And that's why <laughs> I go for a lot more makeup. I mean, if you're going to go have a Zoom meeting, you don't really have to go this through this lens <laughs> just to achieve a good presentable look but I'm doing this just because and I guess you can say that this is a great way for you to set your mood I guess before going to zoom because this is this actually sets my day or sets my mood when I go to work before I go to work, my makeup time, my glam time is very important. For me, it's like my sacred zen moment. And if I don't do my makeup that morning, I'll still be fine. But my day will definitely start on the right foot <laughs> if I have makeup. So the next color that I will use is this shade called Lioness, which is like a burnt, well, kind of like a burnt orange terracotta shade. And I will apply this right here, just on the outer corner. And I'm using some You Can Be, or no, this is not You Can Be, I'm using some King brushes. They're so nice, they're so lightweight. And the cool thing about these guys is that there's no ferrule. You know that metal part right here? So, cause sometimes water can get in there and ruin your brush. So I feel like, cause this one doesn't have a ferrule. It's like molded into the plastic. I think it will last long, I think. 
I love how this is blending and I'm so excited for fall you guys like I'm already ready for all the fall looks and all the fall makeup because I do have I love summer makeup because I feel like summer makeup is all about color in my opinion I don't know you guys what do you think because i think summer is all about color it's all about you know um really punchy shades tropical shades and some of those shades are kind of hard to pull off in the fall but i guess i mean makeup doesn't really have any rules right so we can use whatever really but i find it hard to wear makeup like that much makeup in the summer because at the same time it feels like it's summer you're not really supposed to cake on that much makeup and you should like like it's much more comfortable i guess to wear less things on your face because it's really hot the same way as you know we start to strip down strip down <laughs> we start to you know uh wear less clothing during summer and i guess same goes for makeup because it's just you know more breathable to wear less makeup i guess but you know what you do you do you do you do you right? you do you <laughs> move on with the shade called balance I love this shade just to contour my eyes I always need like a contouring shade for my eyes just because my eyes are much more flat so if there's a contour shade like this shade it just really everything together <laughs> it looks really nice and then I'm gonna use this one as an eyeshadow base this is from profusion cosmetics and this is their waterproof shadow stick this stays on awesome like stays on all day you guys so I'm gonna do like a, a carefree carefree <laughs> kind of like a carefree simple worry free cut crease I don't know I'm not really I like cut crease but I don't really have to be precise and careful with it because there's always a way to clean it up in my opinion you don't really have to overly think about a cut crease oh, creamy this color is it's so pretty you guys and i think i may pop on some eyelashes just to finish off the look hmm. loving this so far I'm really enjoying those pencils from Profusion I'm not sure if they are selling those pencils individually. I think they're not, but they should because by themselves, they're awesome. And I know that on the website, you can only purchase them with their like sparklers or the sparkling toppers that they have. Because these pencil shadows are good by themselves. And in my opinion, such a great formula. And it does stay on well like 
right here it's set already and you can't like blend it out anymore you can't it will not transfer no more so beautiful so for inner corner i think i will use let me just grab a brush you guys all my brushes are in this pouch right here well the brushes that i'm using right now are on this pouch right here and they are some of them are in my cup it's just i find that they don't get dusty if they're covered like that at some point i did use like you know one of those like spoon containers for spoons they have a cup like a cover those are awesome they really help you keep your brushes clean for a longer time so on my inner corner i'm gonna use the face this shade right here it's actually such an ambiguous shade because it feels like it feels like it looks like a gold a champagne but a really faint fair goldy color but over here it kind of looks i don't know like it has like a gray undertone on it but when it's swatched it doesn't it just brings light to the eyes so i really like that what do you guys think so far i really like this mascara quite good so far i still need lashes though that's the thing it like didn't really provide what i need <laughs> so we need some false lashes but it's like that for most of the products that I'm working with, it's like that. So it's not new to me that I can't find a product that works well for my eyelashes, but that's okay. We're gonna wear something to really open up these peepers. Peepers, peepers, work. So I'm following up with some highlighter and I'm using the Kosas highlight. I just want my skin to look fresh and dewy and natural, natural to natural. you guys what do you think hello guys i'm back with lashes <laughs> look at these these are from aliexpress i forgot the name of the shop but it's like a dollar or something yeah it's a dollar and it's such a good eyelash love it it's really full and it looks like a mink one for lips by the way i went ahead and chose this is the gel gel gonna say gel this is the gel lip liner perfect pout gel lip liner from wet and wild and the name is doll in love again how cute is that so there's exactly about 30 minutes before my zoom call so, I'm gonna make this quick. Hey you guys. I don't know how I feel about this lip liner. Something, I don't know. From Morphe, I guess. Sometimes when I do my lips, I would just go with lip liner and lip gloss and that's it. I like the look and I just make sure that I blend it all the way into my lips so that I don't have like just the line 
on the outskirts and I love this gloss it's such a beautiful gloss it looks like this it's like champagne it has a little bit of pink to it so let uh pop that on We are done. That's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my get ready with me for my Zoom meeting. So I appreciate all of you guys. Make sure before you leave my channel, you like this video. Also, comment below and subscribe to my channel, most importantly. I'll see you guys again on the next video. Bye.